Right. This is how I've got my gear set up. I've got my tripod and I've just made a little tripod for it to sort of lame. <laughs> Here's a thing for my camera, so I can put my camera on. Made that out of a diving weight. Um anyway. Ooh. External battery to power the tripod. Now my strobe I had connected to number one cylinder, which is the right hand side as you sat on the bike. It's cust always cust it's customary to time number one cylinder. This is number two. And number one's always the timing end. Um I've took this case off so I can show you how how to central the marks. And on this side, all I've done, apart from scorch me carpet, I've uh, taken off the cap. And that's about it. Right. Right. One of the first things when you're strobing your timing you want to do is confirm where the marks are. As we can see, there's my original pointer on this case. And I've just drawn a white line on my alternator. Corresponding with a pointer. I'm going to take the case off. Just so we can see a bit better. Now if you look here, that's my top dead centre pointer. Right? And if you look where the 38 degree, it lines up with that next screw there, look. So all you have to do is put a mark there. Just opposite that screw. And that's your 38 degrees before top dead centre. That's your top dead centre, the line on the pointer. Now I think a lot of people are setting the time in there, and it shouldn't be there, it should be here. But your 38 degree, just there, just put a little scratch on the alternate and make a paint mark. If we look at the bottom of my barrels, there's a, a timing plug. So, I just put this out. Make sure there's no bits around the bolt before you take it out, because you don't want them in. Right. Now you need either one of them, a triumph tool, or a screwdriver. You can do the same with a screwdriver. Right. Press with the tool. Screw it in a bit. Doesn't have to go all the way in. As long as that comes to a stop. Right. Now with the back wheel, turn it. Bit of pressure. Bit of Just popped in there. That's high. Bit of pressure. Turn the wheel the right way. And I didn't. There. There's one notch. When I check me marks down there, we can see this top dead centre mark is lining up with the pointer. Now that's the only mark on my alternator, that little scratch. Some of two square things here and a line on each side. But I bet you're any bottom dollar, it's top dead centre. So you need another mark at 38 degrees before top dead centre. It's spinning that way. So before top dead centre. Now again, I can use the plug. I can use the plug because there's another notch in the crankshaft. And mark it up. Right, so I'm just going to lift this up with my G's, it's in the top dead centre notch, and turn the wheel backwards, just clonking it, using it like an hammer. 
once it's out the notch I'm just going to put a touch more pressure on again and continue turning backwards there it goes it's just clicked in there it is check me marks And you now see, there's the top dead centre mark, and there's the 38 degree mark. And it's them we want lining up when we use the strobe. There's my 38 degree before top dead centre mark. That's the standard mark there. That That's top dead centre. That's before top dead centre. And we want this line marking up with my mark I've painted on my alternator here. I'm going to rev the bike to about three and a half, four thousand RPM. I'll try and talk over the noise. Maybe. Right, yeah. Right, I noticed it was a, a, a midges advanced, maybe a degree or so. So, I'm just going to slacken the pillar bolts off. The camera's not in the way. Now, the camshaft rotates that way. So to retard the timing marks on the other side, I want to turn the, turn the stator plate the same direction as the camshaft turns by a little bit so I'm only going to do it a midges tiny bit uh, I've done that maybe a degree or so we'll see what that looks like Keep it on this tripod and I'll just go around the other side. <laughs> 